So the next part of the board we're going to look at is the DCA section. That's this top button up here. You hit that. We have eight of them. DCA stands for Digitally Controlled Amplifier. And what these do, they don't actually have any signal running through them. They're not like a bus where we're routing the inputs into them and then we can route that somewhere out of the board. These actually send a control signal to whatever you assign them to. So you can assign them to whatever inputs you want and they'll send a control signal over to them depending on where you put the fader saying, oh, hey, bump all of those up 5 dB, bump all of those down 10 dB, um, but there's no actual audio routed through them. They're just sending a signal over to the channels to control them. Um, the way we use that in practice most commonly is we'll have kind of one for each group of instruments. That's how I like to use them. So typically we'll have like all of the drums routed to number one. And the way we do that is you just hold down the select button up here. Try to do it so you can see. Select button up here, and then you select whatever channels you want to go to it. You can't really see it on the video, but they all light up. Then when you let go, they'll go away. And so this is useful, you know, you do the drums on there, maybe the bass guitar or if it's synth bass or something, you can add those to the next one. Maybe the third one is all your guitars. And then the last one is maybe all of your vocals because they got five vocalists in the band, they all sing. Um, and then what that, what that helps with is say you get like the mix amongst your drum set sounding really good, but you want to bring the whole thing down a few dB to fit in with the band a little better. So instead of like having to drop these all at the same time, which is awkward and you're going to lose the mix, you just drop this sucker down 5 dB. And then that sends a signal over to these saying all you need to turn down by 5 dB. Um, so that becomes really useful once you get your sound check done and you got all the elements pretty well in place. You can use these to just kind of control overall sections of the band. Um, it works really well for the, all the acapella shows that we do. You can start with like the bass singer, then all of the baritones, then tenors, sopranos, whatever else you got. You kind of cluster them all into groups. And then instead of bringing individual mics down, if they ask for, you know, all the tenors to be lower, you can just bring this sucker down and it'll drop all the mics you've assigned to it down a few dB. It's DCAs. Use them. Love them. Learn them. They're great.